Here's the thermodynamic water pump. We have the reservoir down at the bottom, a pump here in the middle. We have a one-way valve at the top of that line, a one-way valve inside the tank at the top of this line that comes out of the reservoir. Big Fresnel lens, we're gonna pump all the way up to the top. Okay, so we have a sunny day. I just wanted to show you the pump, the whole thing there. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're using the Fresnel lens to generate heat inside of our pump canister. The pump canister has a tube coming in here which has a one-way valve. That one-way valve opens this direction. So the flow created by the vacuum drawing water up can allow water into the system. But then the next day, the heat being generated like we're doing right now, that pressure will force that valve closed, making sure that all the direction of flow due to the pressure has to go one direction. That's up this tube, which has a one-way valve at the top of it. That one-way valve, once again, only opens this direction, allowing water to flow out. But then once the vacuum is generated, the vacuum is going to close that valve and allow the vacuum to draw only this direction here. So let's go ahead now and we're going to flip that Fresnel lens out of the sun. And the cooling process here will begin. It's a little warm out here today, so it's not going to cool down real quick or get real cold. Not until tonight. And all of a sudden, oh, here you go. This kind of lift really quickly like this, even in hot daytime temperatures, lets us know that potentially with a shading system, or let's say even a evaporative cooling system that we could incorporate with our pump can here, that would take a little bit of the water that would be coming out of the top and use that at a certain moment during our cooling cycle to generate some evaporative cooling to help this process along a little, we could make this happen much faster and maybe multiple times during the day using the energy of the sun through the Fresnel lens to generate a really hot temperature, an evacuation temperature inside of our pump tank here. And as that starts to cool, those temperatures are so hot that it'll even happen in the daytime temperature. As you can see here, our water lines is going up and up we're almost up to the piece of wood here, which is darn near three feet of elevation lift. There you go. That was the water being drawn up four feet in elevation into our tank. And right now we're pumping water into our pump tank. Looks like that may be the total of the draw we're going to get during the daytime here. And I want to see if we got just enough sunlight or enough temperature we can get against that canister to do a pressure cycle of this pump. So we've drawn down about halfway, if not a little more, of this container. That's at least a gallon of water that's been drawn up four feet into our pump tank. Now I can turn the Fresnel lens back onto the pump. The pressure generated now during the heat cycle is gonna take the water that ended up inside the reservoir here, our pump reservoir, and push that further uphill. All right, here it comes. Look at that. Already our pump is starting to work in, on the pressure side of the cycle and our pump is pumping further uphill here. So we're now up to six feet at least. Now we're up to seven feet. Uh, water line's way up here. So right now that looks like we're able to achieve at least seven feet of head height with a single Fresnel lens thermal evacuated pump system here. So we're able so far, and I still see it slowly moving up, we're able to get up to 88 inches in head height on a single pump cycle. Now I have a feeling if I turn this back to a shade cycle again, allow it to draw more water into our pump tank and then do this again, each time we're going to be able to pump higher and higher as the volume of water inside of our catch tank here increases. Here we go. I've got water at 96 inches in elevation. Now pouring out of the top of our output, we've now been able to pump water eight feet using the thermodynamic process from our reservoir into our pump tank using the sun right now and you can see a nice stream of water coming out of there. Look at that. That would be filling another one of these pump tanks. So that would basically go into another one of these with another Fresnel lens up here at 96 inches that could fill up once again with another Fresnel lens heating it on the other side of the cycle pumping it even further uphill and the whole time I'm talking it's just blowing out water look at that folks a working thermodynamic or thermal evacuated water pump until next time I hope you enjoyed this was Mr. Teslonian